Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple transition. It's easy and you can do it from scratch and you can do it on pretty much anything. So let's go ahead and move over to my tutorials page. I have two clips from a wedding that I just shot. One of an open air uh, chapel and the other one of the pathway leading up to it. Now let's say I was creating a video for this venue and they wanted to showcase the pathway and then transition into the chapel, maybe with some text in between. So today I'm going to show you how to create that. And this is what it looks like. Just like that. Now it's very simple and very easy to customize. So what I'm going to do is remove that and we're going to start from scratch. So just right now, it just jump cuts to the next scene. Okay. Now for the purpose of the video that we would potentially want to make, I want to change that up and put in a transition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my effects page. And I'm going to go to generators and generate a solid color. I'm then going to resize the color to the size that I want the transition to be about the length of the transition that I'm going to want. And I'm going to click on it, the solid color and change it to white, kind of an off white. Uh, Cause I think that it looks nice for the wedding venue theme. Okay. Now all I have to do from here, because uh, what we have so far is just a white screen in between. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up to my effects and go to video transitions. From here, I'm going to grab the triangle left, which is the one that I think looks the nicest. I'm going to put it on the front of the solid color clip and resize it so that the transition ends before the, before that we reach the next clip. From here, I'm going to click on the transition and I'm going to do ease in and out. This will give it a much nicer kind of time remapping look to it and it won't look so rigid. I'm also going to slightly feather it just a little bit. So I'm going to turn off my media pool and you can see here it has a harsh edge. So I'm just going to feather it a little bit just to give it a little nice uh, kind of soft look. Okay. Now, once I have the first half, I'm going to hold alt on my keyboard and copy and paste it to the other side of the solid color. And that's it, the transition is done. So now if I full screen and play it back, this is what it looks like. Very nice, very clean. And I think it's uh, something that it's, it's modern looking. It doesn't look too cheesy. A lot of transitions I think tend to look too cheesy. So if you are gonna use a transition, depending on the type of video you're gonna do, I think something like this looks very nice. Um, you can also do this to introduce text. So from here, I'm actually going to move my clip over, extend this and make sure that the transition, the end of transition doesn't start until we've reached the next part of the clip. But now we have some open space in between here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come back up to my effects, go to titles and then grab a text title. I'm going to put it in. So it starts right about the edge of the transition the end of the first transition and ends around the end of the last one. I'm going to change it to a darker gray so that it looks a bit nicer and change the font to something that maybe fits the theme a little bit better of the video like this one. Okay. Turn that off. And now I am going to adjust the size just a little bit to make it easier to read. And instead of just having it be super boring like that, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. And I'm going to, mm, I think I'll actually put a transition on it as well. So I'll go to my video transitions and let's do, uh, let's do the box one. So I'm going to put the box over the front like that. Same deal. Ease in and out, just like this. Copy it to the edge. And I'm also going to give the text a, uh, slow zoom. So to do that, all I have to do is come over to the video and go to settings while I have the text selected and then click on dynamic zoom. And that will make it so that it's move. There's a little bit of movement. Now it, the text comes away and comes and goes a little bit too quickly. If I play it back, it comes and goes too quickly. So I'm actually going to, uh, extend the clip to the middle of the transition on both sides like that. Okay. Now it looks something like that. 
And to me, I think that looks really, really nice for just a really clean and simple uh, title transition. I can also do ease in and out for the dynamic zoom like that. Um, or maybe just ease in. I think that actually looks nicer. So actually ease out. <laughs> I'm changing my mind on the fly. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, that looks much nicer. So now it, the text kind of lands and then it uh, goes away with the transition. Now you could actually, um, I'm going to remove the transition that I have on the text. I'm going to do the same transition that I have on my, uh, on my solid color clip like this. So I'm going to do the same thing, ease in and out, give it a slight feather. Make it so that it matches the length of this clip. Copy and paste it to the other side. So now the text wipes in and out with the color. So you can see that it kind of wipes everything in and out, just like that. And to me, I think that looks really, really nice. And all of this can be done just right inside of Resolve. You don't have to use the Fusion tab. You don't need any sort of presets. So that uh, that's the whole video. Thanks again for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm just starting out, but I really enjoy making these very short and simple tutorials. So if you like what you see, leave a comment down below and tell me how you'll use this transition in your projects. Uh, alternatively, you can leave a comment and ask, uh, ask me to make a future video, and I might feature your comment in that video. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.